Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of the Witch video. We're back with the Bladed Pass, step 5 through 13. This one, we have quite a few things to do. i trying to figure out where those Ark Relics is as well. But no worries, I got you covered. Today, I'm gonna walk with you step by step. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get started. Step number five of the new Bladed Path of week two in Season of the Witch will take us first to the helm where we need to speak with Irish Morn. We have quite a few cutscenes and they are really cool and tell quite the story. So first off, let's head over to Irish Morn and hear what she has to say. Take it away for us, Irish Morn. Enjoy. Greetings, Guardian. I am focusing my will Preparing myself to step into the ritual space once again. When I first transformed, I thought I might become something greater. Instead, my doubts fell away and I found myself simplified. Refined. Though I became Hive, I was more... myself. I mentioned that to Ikora and she furrowed her brow. I told her she would have time to worry later. But now, I need tithes. Sword logic may be high philosophy, but your tithes of power are real. And when I absorb them, it feels like hope. Fight in my name, Guardian. Every opponent you defeat strengthens me, from Shaxx's crucible to Savathun's own throne world. The Hive believe that only the strongest have earned their existence. If a queen cannot hold her power, she must be betrayed. I will not deny them their dogma. I will embody it. Alright, from here the quest is going to update yet again. And now we're on to the next part of the quest step, where we need to listen to Eris' story. Now this story is pretty dope, so once again, enjoy. The sword logic, the impetus of the hive. Oryx, the Taken King, brother to Savathun and Zivu Arath, sought whispers from the worms of fundament and dredged this truth from the deep. All things must prove their right to exist. The rest will die in terror. There is neither escape, nor exemption. Simple. Essential. Beautiful to know. Oryx led his sisters down the bladed path. We have tested ourselves against horrors. We emerge changed. Through this, we become stronger. We become free. We will avail ourselves of our enemy's tools. Zivu Arath believes every death proves the sword logic. That she unveils the false shape of the Traveler's lie by her blade. But she needs her truth. She is desperate for its vindication. She wishes for a world without grief, or pity, or doubt. Not baleful, not beautiful. A childish cry. The Hive call us liars, the unfree, deniers of the all-edged truth. But I take the power the sword logic offers not out of desperation, but desire for Crota. Oryx. Savathun. Wield their killers as a knife. The Hive know this truth 
as well as any logic. I am here, and they are not. I ought. Pretty cool cutscene, am I right? From there, the course is going to update yet again, and now we need to further your understanding by attuning an element. Here, step number seven, you can choose whatever element you want to attune, art, void, or solar. Depending on which one you choose, the next quest that will include that element for you to do the next step. All right, so step number eight, after you choose whatever class that you want to use with this step, I chose arc. We need to defeat combatants using our selected elements in the Savathun Stone World or by completing seasonal activities. And defeating yellow bars will give us greater success. So I went into the Savathun Stone World, did a heroic public event, and immediately got 50%. So that is probably the fastest way to go because there's a lot of yellow bars and a lot of enemies come. I did that two times and I was pretty much done with this step and on to step number nine. We need to attune the Hive Elements runes and Lost Sector of Savatoon's Throne World. And this is where things can get a little bit, uh, let's just say, weird. <laughs> All right, so they don't tell you exactly what Lost Sector to go into. I went into Extraction. So go into Extraction and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get this next step done. All right, so from here, once you make your way into this part, you may have a little issues with getting this to spawn, but it's actually really simple once you know what to do. We need to shoot five of these different rune elements with the specific attunement that you chose. I chose arc, so look for five of these arc attunements. They're all gonna be in the same area as well. So if you see one, you know that they're close. So one, two, three, four, five. You need to find five of them. After you shoot all five of them, you're gonna get this cool little message that pops up like so. It says a ritual circle manifests itself nearby. So from there, you just wanna walk up to here and this is how you attune it. Just invoke no enemies or anything like that. The bloody path is gonna update and now we need to hear a radio message back at the helm. So let's head back to the helm for our next part of the quest step. So boom, head into the helm and now we have another cutscene. But before we do, here is the radio message. Head into here, interact with the radio message. The quest will update yet again. And now we have the conversation that needs to be witnessed between a drifter and Eris Moore. So for this step, step number 11, we need to speak with Eris Moore and the drifter. I actually just kick back and watch them converse with each other. So here we go, my dudes. Here is the really cool conversation between Irish Morn and the Drifter. I'll see you after this conversation. Once again, enjoy my dudes. Hey, Eris. Heard we have some uh, strange bedfellows. Though, if a bedfellow ain't strange, then they're probably not worth having. So it seems. Have you come to urge caution? To advise against temptation? Nah, you know what you're about. But I'm wondering, what's it like? It begins as a feral surmise, a suspicion. I hear whispers, but they are in my voice. It rises until I am screaming. I make a demand. An atavistic fear now sublimated into a singular, desperate urge. A hunger I must endlessly sate. But the Hive are not afraid. They are awestruck. They know that I am vengeance. And they have conjured me back with vengeance. Ooh, sounds like a wild ride. I seek to subvert the Hive's flawed logic. I may only do so because of what I am, and what I am not. It is a wild ride. Hey, I'll be there when you're on the other side of this. 
As will I. Trust. All right. After the drifter dips out in Eris more, the quest will update yet again, and we need to visit the hollow projector for step number 12. So head back in through the portal, and we're going to head over here to the hollow projector. And guess what? It's Fence. Fence is going to have some nice little dialogue for us. And after we finish speaking with him, the quest will update for the final time for this week. We're going to get ourselves some lovely rewards. And Eris Morn will contact us next week. So check back next week. I'll make sure I'll have the video ready for you with the next step of the Bladed Path quest line. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? You're welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Game. Upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. But once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.